Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three, especially all of you Leapers out there. I appreciate your support, and uh, I just got done recording uh, Page Book, or however that's pronounced, and as I mentioned in that video, I would be recording No Woman, No Cry as well, um, and so I'm just going to jump right into it. This song is one of my all-time favorite songs. Um, I remember the first time I heard it for me, it was Bob Marley, his Legends album the track number two the live version of it and i instantly fell in love with it it's just a beautiful beautiful song so i can't wait to see uh, what his interpretation is of this song oh coffee drink if you didn't see the first video uh copy monocopy i think i got that right <laughs> So what I love about what he's doing is the song itself is a slower paced song, right? And usually what a leap is doing is a little more lively, right? His, he's kind of known for intricate finger pickings and things, right? Uh, but this is a song that doesn't really call for that style of playing, right? So he's really, in my mind, kind of breaking this up into three different parts. There's the lead melody there's kind of the bass line that's keeping the you know whole instrumentation of it going and then you've got his right hand who's that's doing all of these different percussions that's filling in what might otherwise kind of be dead space but keeping the the flow of the whole thing going uh to make this slow slower song still have some liveliness to it uh and i really have always said with Ali Bata, that his ability to uh, take a song that everybody knows and just do it in a way that captures the spirit of it, but still is very Alip. Like, I think that's, you know, just a, it's like a superpower how, how consistent he is with that. He can't be. See? Sorry, this is this is something we saw him do on the last song and the page look. Um really hope I'm not grossly mispronouncing that. Where if you push down up here on the head of the guitar on the strings back, you know, kind of behind the 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 nut there the you'll get the string will stretch out and it will make a higher sound but here it's sounding like it was making a lower sound so it almost gives the impression he's pushing in picking the note letting it go and then pushing it back in so it's going uh down and then up instead of up and then down uh so to push down on that before you pick and get the right uh pressure and everything to hit that note perfectly would be just fantastic See how I was like, man, man. So he must have pushed in first. Let me go back again. I... Yeah. Unbelievable. And um, again, I mentioned this on the last song. I get, you know, I feel the need to kind of call out technical things when I watch him play because he just does so many amazing things. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all, for me, overshadowed by just how beautiful everything he plays is. Uh, but I can't just keep saying over and over again, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. That's not much of a reaction. Uh, but he did some stuff right after he did that little thing right there that was just uh, fantastic. I want to hear that again.
<laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And if you don't know the original song, make sure you go check that out. Um, it's just a gorgeous song. But boy, um, you know, this was not one of the more... I want to make sure I'm careful how I say this. It wasn't one of the more technically challenging things he's done, but it was still very, very technically challenging, especially a few certain parts uh, that I called out and even some other ones that I didn't. But um, that's not saying that this wasn't difficult. It was very difficult. Um, it's just some of the other things he does are almost incomprehensibly difficult. Um, but in any case, I think more than anything else, uh, two things I would say. One is it was beautiful. And two, I felt it really captured the spirit of the original. I think if you don't know the original and uh, you're not familiar with the lyrics and you heard this version of it, like the feeling that you get listening to this, I think would be the same feeling you would get listening to the original version as well. Uh, so just, you know, hats off to Elite Four once again, capturing the spirit of a song, uh, but still making it his own at the same time without, like, feeling like you're, I don't know what the right word I am looking for is. Uh, sometimes you hear people do covers of things, uh, and they just go off and do kind of some crazy things that seem a little disrespectful to the original, if that makes sense. and. Uh, he never does that. It's it's all no matter how different different what he's doing may be in some cases. Uh, normally he's pretty close. Uh, I've heard a few times where he kind of really did some of his own things, uh, but it's always very respectful and very in the spirit of the song. Uh, so you know, just uh, again, hats off to him for doing such a fantastic job at that because not everybody gets that right. Uh, so yeah, great. I am. Uh, Thankful for everybody for watching. Uh, I will try to make sure I'm more uh, active in posting my Elite Bata reaction videos. And uh, I think that's it for now. I will have a link to the original in the uh, description. Make sure that you go and check that out. Give it comments, like, subscribes, all those things that show Elite the love. And I will see you guys all again on the next one. Thanks.